internet is swarming with sexual predators who constantly stalk chat rooms searching for children. But Del Harvey is fighting back by hunting down online pedophiles and bringing them to justice. She's here today to uncover a disturbing world that every parent needs to be warned about. Please welcome from pervertedjustice.com, Del Harvey. Del. It's amazing the work that you do. You've been doing it for a long time. We first spotted you on Dateline and were just <coughs> blown me. away by, by the justice that you're actually bringing to our world and doing this. You, you essentially are pose, have been posing as young boys, young girls, trying to get these online predators. Before we see you in action, what is it that you do exactly? Well, essentially, the organization goes into online chat rooms with underage profiles. And if adults then contact those underage profiles and solicit them for sex, we then contact the police and work with them to prosecute and convict them. To trap them, essentially. Yeah. Precisely. Right. Okay. So once you, you post a profile in one of these chat rooms and you're going back and forth, how long does it take before someone who is perverted comes on, comes on the scene? Is this a long process? It depends on the area, but it can be as soon as two minutes, really? five minutes. And then, and then what do you do? Essentially, you just have a conversation, and you see where they start taking it. If it's, you know, oh, well, how's school? All right, you're really young. Have a good day. Be careful mm -hmm. on the Internet. Great. If it's how's school, are you home alone, yeah. what your parents do, mm -hmm. then, then you start you getting do? concerned. <laughs> you actually just go ahead and maintain the conversation. We're very careful not to initiate things, because even though we're not law enforcement, we adhere to the standards of law enforcement to ensure that it's easy to prosecute the cases. Because the last thing we want to do is make it more difficult. So you have to put training people in jail. for this. Oh yeah, and we actually training. now train yeah. police departments. And when is it exactly that they start arresting these guys? When does the justice come in and able to take them away? Well, essentially, what we do is say that they say, "Okay, I want to meet you." Then we'll say, "We'll contact the police and say, okay, we've got someone. Coming over. Where do you want him to meet us?'" And they'll say, "Okay, take him to the park at four o'clock." And we'll say, "I'm going to be out from school early. I'll meet you at the park at four o'clock." They mm -hmm. go to the park and police are there. Police but are there. Have Is that enough proof? You no? can't just Absolutely. do it. You can't just do it from the chat. Not true. You can do it from the chat In some because states? if you have solicited a child for sex online. That's illegal mm -hmm. in a number of states. And if you sent pornography, a lot of them will masturbate on webcam for the child. Oh, and that's, that's evidence. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you have screen caps And the that. intent. So the intent Absolutely. is enough to prosecute these intent people. To, an intent to have sex with the child is enough that's to correct. prosecute in a number of states. Aren't yes. they wise Wait. to it yet, though? Because, you know, people like you talk about it. People like us talk about this. And they know that there are undercover people on the web. Well, yeah. we got 18 this past weekend in Ohio. So, so the, no. the compulsion is enormous. Yeah. Probably. We have some transcripts of, of some of the conversations you've had with these um, pervert, perverts. And yeah. this one is with a 51-year-old man who thinks that he's talking to a 13-year-old girl. I just want to let the audience know that the thing that's so graphic, we can only read you a little bit of it. But the man says, do you like older guys? To which you respond as the 13-year-old, yeah, they aren't obsessed with video games. No, says the man, they're obsessed with pretty girls. Can you hold for a min? You say K. Sorry about that potty break. Do you think you'd like for a guy my age to taste some of your kisses sometime? Oh my goodness. You respond, I bet you're a good kisser. I bet you would be fun to cuddle with and hug, he says. I like to think so. Can I ask a really personal question? Sure. And he asks, are you a virgin? Yeah. Honestly, I have been looking for a young girl. I really don't think I would find one as young as you. You say, am I okay? And he responds, are you okay? Baby, you passed okay. A long, long time ago. And that's the part that we that's could actually put yeah. on here. What they, what, oh, well, we can't even say what they read. Part. Yeah. But is that fairly typical of what these predators write to these kids? It depends on the type of predator. That's actually a great example of one of the most disturbing types, which is what we call the groomer. And mm. by groomer, we mean someone who really tries to insert themselves into your child's trust. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So they're sitting there telling your child, who may be, you know, 12, 13, 14, your average insecure teenager, you're so smart. You are so mature. Right. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the kid's sitting there going, my parents won't let me stay up till yeah. 11 o'clock. Yeah, you understand This guy me. understands me. This guy me. gets me, they're saying. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you'd classify this next one other than you, you have said is the worst online predator that you've come across. It's a 34-year-old man talking to what he, he thought was a 13-year-old girl. In it, he says, well, how old are you? You respond, posing as a girl, I'm almost 14. I see, too bad you're 13 because I'm looking for someone. <sighs> well, I just feel so empty inside, you write, you know? Does it get, is it ever going to get any better? He writes, it doesn't. He writes again, I'm looking for a younger, submissive female to train. You write, 
What does that mean? Well, she's a girl that allows another man to take control of her. Oh, girl writes, I just want to feel safe. Man writes, but if I did this, it would have to be done in secret and you would have to be totally submissive. What are you going to train me to do, you write? He says, to be my slave girl. What do I do, though? You'll find out. It will take some time for the training. But at the very base, you are my woman. Sad girl says, okay. He says, you like that thought. He's not even asking. He's already saying, you like this thought. Where, first of all, where is this guy now? Jail. Still in jail. Sometimes you're a girl, sometimes you're a boy, and you have certain uh, things you say so that you sound like a boy. But for the show Dateline, you went one step further than chatting. You said, come to my house. It wasn't exactly your house, but they came. The cops came waiting to see them there. And we have a little bit of this to show what happened when they actually came to the house they thought was yours. Were you a girl or a boy then? Uh, it depended boy. on the boy. Then you were a boy. Okay. Let's take a look. Hey, you out there? Hi. Hey, let me finish brushing my teeth real fast, okay? Just sit at the counter for a second? Okay. What'd you bring me? What an apple pie. Ooh. I gotta go floss. I still got something stuck in my teeth. Oh, okay. Come here. Did you want to be the cop or the robber? <laughs> oh, I don't care. Just hang up at the counter for a second, okay? Okay. So I know I showered once. Did you still want to shower again? <laughs> Oh, uh, kind of stinky. Oh, boy. Gosh. And they were arrested? Yeah, all were arrested. Yeah. And I have to ask you, the whole situation with MySpace, they also look for these kids on MySpace, and I think kids need to know, and parents, this is mm -hmm. so prevalent, and kids are under 14, actually, on MySpace, and they search for children as their yep. catalog. How many predators would you say are out there? What's your guesstimate? Actually, the latest estimations have been that there's around 50,000 predators online at any given moment. Oh, okay. And what do parents do? Yeah, they're from 500,000 to 750,000 online per day. What does, can a parent do? Be really careful. And how? Keep what in does contact that mean? with your kid. You know, be aware if they have a MySpace. Be aware of what's mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Not only just what's on theirs, but what's on their friend's MySpace. Yes, okay. exactly. Because the, say your kid's as okay. safe as the whole world can be, but their friend has a comment saying, can't wait to see you at school on Thursday, and their friend has their school posted. Mm. Yeah. Be careful of, don't let them go into chat rooms. There's no reason for a kid to be in a chat room. Okay. Should if you they're snoop gonna on chat, them? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Snoop on them. I'm, I'm 24. I'm a betrayer to my generation, I know, but snoop on yeah. your children. Yes. Yeah. Del, Keep thank them you. Because, you know what, with so, many, with so many unseen predators, you are a foot soldier in this cause, yes. and our yeah. hands are off to you. All the parents on yeah. this country yeah. feel the same way. Thank you so much. Our thanks to Del Harvey. We will be right back. Still at the right.